Good morning, guys. Good morning, girls. Uh, hi, hello. Uh, my name is CJ, and I am here with another time lapse video for us to learn a thing or two from. And um, before I forget, happy Valentine's. It was yesterday. Um, so, yeah. But I do want to say um, happy Valentine's to everyone out there. Belated happy Valentine's to all the lovers out there. So, anyways. Um, so yeah, today is a very interesting video for me to make commentary on um, because the video is showing in real time. Um, most of my videos, most of my time-lapse videos is obviously speeded up and that's why it's called time-lapse. It's because um, we're watching it not in real time but this one is done in real time um, this one is for uh, an artwork that I did for um, the daily spit paint group in Facebook uh, again for the ones who watch and for the ones who don't um, the daily spit paint group is a very great group to be a part of um, the exercise of or the whole point of the group is that there's four prompts that get posted every day and you only have 30 minutes to do a painting um, for that particular prompt or for any of the prompts because um, there's four that you get to choose from so but yeah it's <laughs> it's a very crazy amount of time I mean, it's such a short amount of time to do any kind of artwork. And I've mentioned this numerous times before in this channel. It is <laughs> it's just very hectic, I guess, for the lack of a better word. Um, most of the time, I use the full 30 minutes. Um, this one is really special because I finished way quicker than I expected. I actually ended up um, doing a... 20 minute <laughs> speed paint instead of a 30 minute speed paint so yeah this was a very fast speed paint for me um i guess to talk real quick about what um made this very special and what made this um fast in a way is because of the fact that i was relying mainly on the silhouette um oh you know what? I didn't get the chance to talk about. Um, <laughs> I didn't get the chance to talk about what the prompt was. <laughs> I just started talking about um, the technique that I was about to employ and use. Um, real quick to talk about what the prompt was. The prompt was impossible tower, and um, so most of the people who drew for that prompt obviously drew a tower of some sort. You know. Um, they didn't um, do what I did you know like they drew a tower that was like obviously a tower and not zoom in and close and whatnot I on the other hand kind of uh, did something obviously different because you can't really see the tower you just see this mine climbing up um, and part of the reason why uh, I did it um or let me backtrack um what i'm trying to get at is that um right around this time when i did this video or when i did this when i did this artwork um i got exposed for the first time to alex honold honold alex honold i don't know how to pronounce his last name i'm really sorry um he's a very amazing mountain climber um he did a free solo of El Capitan in California way back in 2017. But I just recently started watching his, um, watching all the documentaries that was made on him like in 2019. Because I did this uh, last year um, or two years ago, uh, in fall of 2019. So obviously I was like two years behind from finding out about Alex. But when I watched documentaries on him, I was very, very impressed. Because, I mean, El Capitan is like a very strenuous climb, even with ropes. And he did it without ropes, right? And so, 
when I watch that video and then obviously I ran into this prompt, you know, and I'm like, well, what should I do? It just, it was just natural for me to think of a mountain climber climbing an impossible tower. So, um, and that's where, um, my idea came from. So, which, and, and the reason why I wanted to mention that is because it becomes very important as to why this artwork was very, very was done very fast obviously when i had it in my mind to draw a mountain climber climbing an impossible tower this when i realized you know what i could just use a silhouette of a mountain climber which is pretty much what i did essentially and that's what made this painting like three times faster than well not really three times faster it's <laughs> like you know about 10 minutes less than my normal time um but it, like doing silhouette drawings really does speed up your artwork because you kind of just display the idea right off the bat, you know, with just a simple silhouette. So, um, so yeah, that technique uh, or that particular idea in my head is what really made this artwork go by so quick. <laughs> I'm like really surprised when I finished at 19 minutes. I was like, wow. You know, because I always take the full 30 minute of the prompt just because it's, I just need it. <laughs> I'm just not that great of an artist. But going back to uh, what I was originally trying to talk to before, um, I predominantly, well, again, let me backtrack again <laughs> slightly. There's quite a lot of artists who use the lasso technique. I've mentioned this before. Um, they basically lasso things and then they do gradient fills and then they do like brush techniques. It's a very, very fast way of doing artwork and it's very, very good. There's tons of artists that I've mentioned in this channel before who are really great with that talent, with that technique. I, on the other hand, um, I like to blend things, you know that's my preference and when you do the lasso technique slash brush technique you don't really do a whole lot of blending you know you kind of rely on the textures of the brush just to kind of make it look like something that something detailed basically right um so yeah i don't do the whole lasso technique at all um for a great example of my lasso technique i, I did it in a video last december um in an artwork called Tasty, it was another 30 minute speed paint that I had I did for the daily speed paint group. And that one relied heavily on, on the lasso technique. Um, so basically for this particular painting, that's what I ended up relying on. Um, I basically lasso, uh, which I haven't done yet, you'll see me do that in the next few minutes because yeah, I'm still working in the background. Um, but yeah, you'll just see me lasso the guy or lasso the climber and the rock that he's climbing on and just pretty much just put like one plain dark color and then that's it. You know, for the most part, that was done as soon as I did a fill on that selection. And obviously I did a little cleanup, you know, sharpen my edges, delineate my edges and all that. But after that, for the most part, it was just like straight up done, you know. Um you can see that like for the past nine minutes uh the majority of the work that i've done has just been in the background um and so yeah it's just it was just immensely cool that that it was just so simple you know and it was just done so quick um man those mountains kind of look really good um you know, I'm not really sure. I, I made a note on this on my <laughs> on my notes. Uh, I could not for the life of me remember if I actually was looking at a reference when I was painting the mountains. Um, it looks like I am looking at a reference because I kind of have a good idea of where to put my colors f at versus like if I'm not using reference, I really don't know where to put my colors. Those particular browns that I put on those bluish mountains, that's a good indication that, you know what, maybe I am, I am looking at a reference. So yeah. Um, but yeah, practically the whole um, 
practically the whole uh, painting was spent on the background. I mean, 10 minutes has passed. This whole video is 20 minutes long, so half of the time was spent on the background. Um, and, and now, typically it's reversed. Typically, two-thirds of your time doing artwork will be spent on... Um, will be spent on doing the foreground um, instead of the background but obviously in this one I spent 10 minutes in the background and wow okay I was so wrong about the lasso technique I was pretty sure I did the lasso technique I didn't realize that I just brushed in the color at first wow this is just so surprising man I really need to watch my videos and pay closer attention uh man when i write my notes i always have my video like 300 more times faster than what i put up on youtube just so that i could view the video in like 10 minutes for like an hour video or something just so that i could make notes um okay so i was wrong i, I did do some simple uh brush strokes into the actual silhouette now i didn't do the fill like i thought i did uh, i seriously thought i did a fill but um i do know for a fact that i did use the selection tool on on this particular artwork because i knew because i remember wanting to clean up all the crazy um uh jagged lines on the edges of my sketch um, so what I, I did basically is I used my selection tool um, to make those edges sharper I, I remember doing that I knew for a fact that I did that so um, yeah when am I gonna start the selection tool yes go save <laughs> it's very important to save um, Oh wow, and I totally forgot I used to do this too. I started it out small. And then I'm gonna upscale. And then that makes the background fuzzy, which is nice. And then at this point in time, I'm pretty sure I went for the selection tool just to make my edges sharper, which I normally don't. I normally just draw it in, but I'm pretty sure that I'm going to use the selection tool in the next few minutes. But yeah, uh, very simple artwork done with the lasso technique, um, slash selection techniques, slash selection tool. Um, I didn't do the fill like I thought I did. Um, it turns out I actually just painted the silhouette. But I do know that I did use a selection tool um, to clean things up. Um, but yeah, very, very simple artwork, man. So fun to do.
as you can see, I'm about to finish that selection tool. Just like I had mentioned earlier. And then all I'm going to do is just edit cut. And there you go. I got sharp edges. Ooh, nice. <laughs> and so, yeah, I mean, after that little move, I mean, I checked out my overview and looked at it from afar. And lo and behold, I have a complete painting in about 19 minutes. So, yeah, um, obviously I'm doing a little edits on the guy. Um adding some darker colors where I wanted where it was just like nothing there so yeah I obviously like filled in the tip of the shoes just like I did and some parts of his neck but yeah I mean this painting was done very very quick and see how effective that that lasso slash selection tool technique is it's I mean it speeds up things a lot um it's just not very conducive to the art style that an art particular style and technique that I have developed, you know, again, like I said, I like blending a lot. And even though you could use the selection tool when you do your blendings and whatnot, um, it just, uh, it's just never really occurs in my head to use it a whole lot, you know? So, I mean, I do use it, um, every now and then just not as often as say some of the other speed painters do so but yeah to each their own <laughs> that's all i could say people develop their own habits and they develop their own styles which is great um makes the world a very very colorful place that's all i could say so but yeah this painting is almost done just doing a few minor edits on the mountain obviously um I just can't believe how simple this painting was. Um, I think I did a faster artwork than this one before this, but this one is just amazing too because it was 19 minutes. So yeah, it's just very nice to have it an artwork done that fast. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching this with me. Like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Good night. <laughs>